Binders have always been my favorite organization tool. They allow for endless customization options, can be reused across the years, and its content can be reorganized according to your needs. So of course that I would be looking for a binder as the first purchase of 2019's back to school season. The purpose of this video is to show you some options in terms of binder organization and what you should be searching for in terms of price and quality while you are shopping for your stationery. In this back to school shopping trip, I was looking for a binder setup with old school vibes and that could act as an archiving solution for my notes at home. I was also looking for a budget friendly setup, so I went for mid to low range supplies that were durable enough to withstand a semester without breaking the bank. Taking that into account, I knew right away that plastic binders were out of question since they would be completely over budget, ranging from 10 to 20 euros. So I went for the classic cardstock slash cardboard version, which is probably going to be more than enough since I won't be carrying this thing in a backpack to college. If you find a plastic binder that fits your budget, that's always the option that I recommend since it will last you a long time, especially if you carry it around. In case you prefer to stick with the lighter version, it can be a good idea to laminate the corners of your binder so it doesn't rip when it scrapes against other objects. After the binder was picked, the biggest challenge was finding tabs that were resistant enough and fit the price point. Although the hard plastic ones are the best, they were incredibly expensive and the cheaper plastic solutions are those thin plastic dividers that easily bend and rip as well. The cardstock dividers, however, are very flimsy and will look torn at the tabs after a couple of weeks of use, so I found a good in-between which were cardstock dividers with plastic reinforced tabs. For more organization goodness, I went searching for some old school looking folder inserts for the binder and I found these archiving folders that can be easily hole punched and serve as a place to keep handouts, your syllabus, or any initial information provided at the beginning of the semester that is useful to isolate and can be kept as a front page of the course's divider. Besides those folders, which cost 75 cents each, I also found a pack of cardstock archivers that serve to file major projects that can also be isolated from the rest of your notes. These can be useful for test practice, homework you have to turn in, assignments, reports, and that type of work that is detrimental for your final grade. Since staples was majorly lacking in filler paper, I went out of my way to another store and found this new notepad by Oxford that was perfect for the type of binder I was trying to achieve. They also had the same notebook in white, so if the yellow toned pages are not for you, that's not a problem. Two great features about this notepad are that 1. Each page can be scanned using the markings in the corners and they work with their app Scribzy. And two, despite being ruled pages, you have markings at the top and bottom of each page that serve to guide you in case you want to draw vertical lines, which can be useful in some formats like the Cornell method. Using a hole punched notepad is great because you can keep it in the back of your binder and of course you can also double tape it or hold it with a binder clip. Regarding what to put in your binder during setup, I always recommend a one-page academic planner, which allows you to see what are the assignments, tests, midterms, quizzes and exams you'll have at a glance. Of course, that all this information should be migrated to your personal planner, whether you use an app or a paper calendar, but having all this information condensed in one page is really nice and helps you manage your expectations better. To quickly create the perfect academic calendar, just go over to calendarpedia.com and generate your custom-made calendar. You can just download a PDF and print it. They have many templates available for each specific type of calendar, so it's easy to find something that fits your needs without losing time creating something like that for yourself. Secondly, I think it's a good idea to keep your syllabi in your binder, divided per classes. First of all, syllabi act as a table of contents for the following notes and secondly, they can be a precious tool to refer back to previous chapters or to simply understand how all of your lectures are connected around the bigger theme. Of course that you can go all out with your binder and use other inserts and accessories, but if I were you, I would keep it as simple as it gets. Maybe add a pen loop if you are prone to misplacing your pens or a side pocket to keep a class schedule or the map of your campus. The more crowded and full your binder is, 
the less likely you'll resort to it as a studying tool. And that's the opposite of what we want to achieve with today's video. Binder organization is just a part of the many things you can organize before back to school to have an easier time once the semester starts. And if you want to boost your organization skills in time for the first day of college, you can find tons of organization and planning lessons in Skillshare with sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with more than 25,000 classes in dozens of different categories, and they can help you build new skills, develop new strategies, and learn more about anything you feel curious about. Skillshare's portfolio includes productivity and business masterclasses, tutorials on how to work with different types of software, language lessons, art and design courses, and so on. But if you're watching this video because you want to get more organized for back to school, you can start by watching Productivity with Evernote. Use one tool for everything. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to all these incredible classes, so no individual payments required. And since Skillshare costs less than $10 a month for the yearly subscription, it's the perfect platform to continuously develop your study skills. If you use the link in the description box, you can get your first two months of unlimited classes for free. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, stay tuned for more back to school videos and I will see you next week. Bye guys!